Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to style a WooCommerce product to show text instead of an icon on Hover in Divi. Now this is a cool trick that you could do and this is something that can make your shop look different to the out of the box features that come with WooCommerce. So in this video, I'll be showing you step by step how to achieve this. So let's get started. This tutorial requires you to install WooCommerce. It's a free plugin and also you need the images for your products and the dimensions are 510 by 510 pixels. We're also going to use some CSS code and I will link to the article in the show notes below. Okay, so to install the plugin, all you need to do is to come over here to plugins, click on add new. So search for WooCommerce. And we can see it's the first one here. So I'm going to click on install and activate it. So for now, I'm going to skip this because I don't need to go through this whole process. So I'm going to click on not right now. So now that I have that in place, I need to create a few products. So I want to come over here to products, click on add new. So we just call this product one. So in this area here, you can add your description. So I'll just paste that dummy text and the price. Okay, I'll just put the price and then let's scroll down. Now we need to add a product image. So I'm going to come over here to set product image and I'm going to upload my images. So I'm going to click on select files. So I've selected my uh, three files. I'm going to click on open to import them all to my media library. So now with the first one selected, I'm going to set it as a product image. Okay, so once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to click on publish. So do this twice so that we have a total of three products. Okay, so I've added all my three products. So all I have to do now is to click on update. So now the next stage is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. And I'm going to call this page shop. Click on use the Divi builder. And I'm going to go ahead and use the visual builder. So what we need to do next is to add a single column. And then we need to add a shop module. So I'm just going to search for shop. Right, so we need to do some customizations here. So first off, we need to make sure that there's three over here because we only have three in our shop. But in your case, if you have more products, you can always go in and add, add the, uh, the amount that you need on this page. And then here on the design, we don't need to do much, but if you want to go ahead and uh, make some changes, you can go in, change the title, make it all caps if you want, and you can also play around with the colors. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to keep it simple. Right, so the next stage now is to just go ahead and save. If I hover over, you can see here that we have this blue plus. So this is what we need to change and make sure that we get we get some text on it. Okay, so let's go into the settings. So I'm going to click this gear icon and I'm going to go into the design. So in the design here, what we need to do is to just change this hover overlay color. So you can choose whatever color that you want. It just depends on what works with your branding. So I'm just going to choose this gray color and I'm going to make it a bit transparent. As you're making this transparency, you can always come over here and test it and see if you are happy with the intensity. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and save. So now it's time to add the CSS. So to add the CSS, you can do it in two ways. If you want the CSS to apply site-wide, you can do it in your DV theme options. But for this case, we just need the CSS to apply to this page. So I'm going to click on expand settings, click the gear icon, and then I'm going to come over here to the CSS and paste my CSS in here. So straight away, I've just pasted it. You can see now we've got the text which says view. So that default icon that we get is now gone just by applying the CSS. Now, if you like your products to be round instead of square, you can always add the following CSS. So I'm going to paste it right below the CSS here. And straight away, we can see now we have round. Okay, so but I prefer to have them square. So I'm just going to delete that. So I'm going to go ahead now and save. Now, if you would like to follow along, this code, as I mentioned before, will be provided in the show notes below. So you can go ahead, use the code and follow this step by step. So now that I'm happy with this, I'm just going to do a few more tweaks here so I can add a bit more space here. And I'm going to go ahead and publish. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. 
and be sure to subscribe on our social media platforms by doing so you'll be notified every time we produce a video we are going to be producing more videos similar to what you're seeing today so until next time thanks for watching and see you soon